Okay, so our soldering iron is hot. Got the safety glasses on, always very important to protect your eyes. Let's get going here. So soldering iron is hot. I have a damp sponge here. I'm gonna go ahead and get started and uh, tin the tip. Okay. So first we're gonna wanna start off by removing the five capacitors that are at fault here. Let's start by taking off this first one here. Almost there, we've got one lead free. Let's just heat up this, and there you go. So you wanna heat up the base and apply pressure the opposite way with the uh, tweezers, the pliers. Okay, so we've removed this capacitor here, but if I can get in real tight here, you'll see that these two holes still have a little bit of solder in them, so, if we try to take one of our new capacitors and put it in there as is right now, we're not going to be able to do so. So I take my long lead and I've put that through the larger part here. I'll post a, a picture so that makes more sense. But yeah, it's blocked with solder, can't get in there. We're gonna need to desolder those holes. And one way I like to do this is take a fine point utility tool here and apply that to the other side. So I heat up the solder, get it molten, and then I put my little tool in here. Make sure I get it all the way through. And while it's still hot, I wiggle it around to create space. And this is a really quick way of doing it. That way, or this way, you don't need to use a solder sucker, which I find aren't very effective. So if you were to use this, you would have to heat, apply heat over here and then really quickly suck it out. Um, I don't think that works very well in my experience. So now, zoom in, show you how to put in this capacitor. Okay, you're going to want to apply positive through this end and then the negative lead through the smaller shaded area. See what I'm saying? So positive on top, negative on the bottom. Positive is the longer one always. Positive is always the longer lead. And here we go. You see we cleared out those holes. Able to get the leads in there nice. Come on. And now we've got the negative in too. So that's what it looks like. And then we can trim down the leads after we solder this back in there. So let's go ahead and solder. You don't want to touch the solder to the soldering iron. You want to let the solder flow to it. And this is probably the easiest part right here. Just like that. And that's one out of five done. All right, and then we can just trim these down, 
clean up this a little bit with uh, some rubbing alcohol. It looks like there's some solder that spilled out a little bit. But all in all, it looks pretty good. And uh, you'll just have to do that to the other four capacitors. Good luck.